Okay, hi everyone. Just doing a little nerd investigation for you here. I have three KCO2 hot rubbers here. And my desk lights are having a strange effect on my camera. Hang on. Turn them off. Use my phone light instead. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so number one. This is a stock KCO2 hot rubber, which has came out of one of the ASG Special Teams Carbines versions, uh, otherwise known as a version 2.1 um, KCO2. So I know that is a standard hot rubber. This one is definitely a Future Energy 70 degree hot rubber because it's the old one that came out of uh, my rifle that was in there for about two years. Uh, I know that this is an FE70. This one's quite well used. Uh, you probably can't see, but the knob has quite a nice groove carved into it. Yeah, you can just see it a little bit there. It's not straight across. There's like a little dip in it. So that one is definitely an FE70. And this one in the middle is the one which uh, the hot rubber that's come out of uh, the gun, the stubby uh, CQB KCO2, uh, which I currently have disassembled. Now I'm trying to decide uh, whether this is a stock hot rubber or not, um, or if it's an, a future energy one. Now, um, as you can see, they're all the same color, all exactly the same size. I've even measured them with the calipers to make sure that uh, there aren't any length, any any telling factors that you can tell. So, I'm of the opinion that this is an FE70. Now, this might show up because I have the light on my camera. The standard hot rubber is quite a dull rubber. If you look at the reflection of the light from the phone, if I can get the focus just right. Yeah, it's a little bit better. There we go. It's quite a dull reflection. Whereas the FE70s are quite a bit shinier if you look at the reflection of the light going across it. Now I think this one is relatively new because there's no marks in uh, the actual nub itself at all. As you can see it's still quite shiny. Now you might think it's shiny because it's new but this one is at least two years old. This is an FE70. This is very well used and you can see it's still shiny. It has quite a, uh, more of a more of a sheen to the rubber that it's made out of. Certainly compared I'll put these two next to each other. I'm being very careful not to make, mix these up. You see the matte finish on the standard rubber and the shiny finish on what I think is an FE70. Uh, so this one's a confirmed FE70. As you can see, it's got quite a shine on it compared to this one, which is a matte finish on both sides. Now, Obviously the FE70 is a harder hot rubber as well, so this is another way which uh, which I think this is definitely uh, an FE70. If I take this one, it's very easy to squish. It's very, very squishy. Feels like cold pasta. Squishing it between my fingers, just to get a feel for it. How hard it is to squish there. and. It, the lips at this end, it's quite squishy. If we take the confirmed FE70, it's noticeably harder. It's like twice as hard to squish. Maybe not in the middle here, but certainly at the lips end here, you have to put quite a lot of pressure on to make it deform. It's a noticeably harder hot rubber. Now the one that I think is an FE70, this one is the same as that confirmed FE70. It's, it's quite stiff to squish. If we take this one, that's that's very easy. You can you can very easily make it, you know, fold it in half like that. This one, you have to squish it pretty hard to make it do that. So if you ever get a KCO2 and you're in any doubt as to whether it's an FE70 or not, I'm having to squeeze that. You can see my fingers going white. I'm having to squeeze that together. How hard I'm having to squeeze that. 
That one's definitely an FE70. I'm pretty sure that's an FE70 because it's as shiny and as hard as the confirmed FE70. And this one is a known stock hot rubber. That's a lot easier. You can see the tip of my finger at the top there is not going white at all. I'm easily squishing that. Whereas with these ones, you have to press it quite hard to get it to squish together. So, so far, that's the only way I've come up with to tell the difference uh, if your gun has an FE70 rubber or just the stock hop rubber. The shine and how easy they are to squish because the FE70s, that's their purpose. They're a harder hot rubber. So, a little nerdy investigation for you there. Carry on with your lives. <laughs>